This is Type Lifestyles every Friday. Check us out at 2 p.m. What's up, guys? John here with Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew. What's up, guys? It's Big Drew. It's Friday, and it's Titan Lifestyle once again. Sorry I wasn't here last week, but I had to go to do a show I was prepping on, kind of late entry, but I yeah. went, had fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was very happy with my physique, which is pretty much all that matters to me. Absolutely, but, um, man. Yeah, I had fun. It got switched to Orlando. It was supposed to be in Miami, so I figured I'd jump in and do it last minute because it was right up the street, so... I had to represent for Titan. Absolutely. And uh, it was fun. It was good. But sorry I couldn't be here, but I'm back. That's all right. Man. So we were talking about Drew last Friday. He wasn't here, but he was here in spirit. And he was kicking butt and representing Titan, like he was saying. Looked phenomenal. Still looks phenomenal, man. Just decided last minute to throw the hat in the ring. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. I'm glad he did. So at that point, we are proud of him going out there and represent for Titan. So we got a great show for you guys. I know the uh, last time we talked, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. We had Titan Black Wednesday. I'll tell you what, since you guys are tuning in right now, I will offer the discounts from Black Wednesday to you guys. So you guys can get it for this day only, I guess. Uh, you're going to get the blood work special, 130 right? For males, females, 200 10% off your total order. So at that point, you guys can take advantage of that. And we might even give away a shirt. At the end of this, or some leggings for your females out there. So who if knows? Got, if you guys are Hercules guys, that's like, yeah, that's a good little chunk off a bottle of Hercules. Absolutely, ten percent. Right so you get a couple of those, you're good to go. Absolutely. And the more you get, the bigger discount yeah, you get because it's ten percent. Yeah, you end up getting one for free if you get a few of them. Oh yeah, ten percent. So, yeah, I mean, that's good. That's yeah, good. absolutely. So you guys can take advantage of those specials too as well. Got a great show for you guys. Um, first one of the 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 first thing of the day to talk about would be our therapy of the week. So our therapy of the week, CJC with Imperellin. It's a peptide, great for helping stimulate your own growth hormone. You know, so you can produce your own growth hormone so you can get the more benefits of this as far as lean muscle mass, weight loss, performance, strength, hopefully, right? Better sleep patterns and a little That's bit huge. more. Yeah. Sleep is huge. For sure. Yeah, especially with lean muscle mass, a lot of bodybuilder from bodybuilder's point of view, yeah. they see CJC as like a joint healing thing, which is great with, you know, mm -hmm. your ligaments and connective tissues and all that helps a lot with that, but they don't see the lean muscle mass. So CJC yeah. also helps with lean muscle mass. A lot of times people just attribute it with rehabilitation of my yeah. joints hurt or this and that or feel better, but to get bigger and leaner and, you know, healthier, it helps with that too. As does the MK677. This one right. just works a little bit differently. Right. So both, both great therapies. Uh, Art, Art uh, Cali, listen, we're getting to the messages right now. So if you did win and you guys DM'd us like you were supposed to, we will get back to you. We'll make sure that you get your shirt or whatever you guys won that day, okay? A lot of winners. Yes. Oh, there was a lot was of winners. Watching, we did a, we did a ton. Win. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was crazy. So CAC with Imperellin, this is great. An oral GHRH, growth and releasing peptide. Um, you know, it's, it's great as far as it helps you naturally produce your own growth hormone. So you don't have to put synthetic growth hormone in your body or maybe over, you know, dose yourself on growth hormone to shut down your pituitary possibly. You know, at this point, it's a more healthier way to do this. Um, CJC is basically the predecessor to Semarellin. Semarellin was the first growth hormone releasing hormone peptide out there. Um, and it was supposed to be used in a substitute for growth hormone too as well. But the difference between this and that is you're getting two therapies with this one therapy with CJC and Imperellin. Both are going to help stimulate the posterior and anterior of the pituitary. So they're going to work together synergistically to get you guys better results. All right. So if you guys have any more questions about that, please let us know. I need an appetite fullness suppressor or appetite increase. You need a suppressor and an increase? Suppressor or an appetite increase. Uh, let, let me know on Hawk Squad. Let me know a little bit more about that so we can help you out. We'll answer that question for you guys. But listen, it's real simple. If you're looking, like, basically MK677 is going to stimulate that hunger hormone. Okay? So you're going you're gonna to get really, really hungry on that. So if you want to stimulate the appetite, that's the way to go. With CJC and Imperellin, 
it's not going to stimulate that as far as appetite, you know, like the way the MK677 does. So, um, you know, that's a little bit of the difference. So if you're looking for one or the other, that's going to help you stimulate natural growth hormone levels, but not have an appetite or have an appetite. Those are the two directions, yeah, yeah. you know? And I like taking MK677 right before I work out because for me, the timing, I get that hunger. It's almost like as soon as my workout's done, it kicks in. Yep. Then I could have like a big post-workout meal that, you know, to help fuel what I just what yeah. I did in the gym. get all those nutrients. So if it's like there. a leg day or back day, I'll take one either right before I train or I'll literally pop it in the middle of training. So as soon as I'm done, I can literally go down and see, like I can do now, eat a lot of food now. Yeah. Go sit at a buffet and just eat like crazy and just fuel <laughs> my body. You get the time it, or take it before bed if you don't want to, if you yeah. don't want to. If you don't want the hunger, talking about appetite suppressant, yeah. if you want to get the effects of it, just take it literally right before you go to sleep. That way, when you're sleeping, you don't realize how hungry you are. So Plus, you you're, you're raising more more uh, natural growth hormone levels. I mean, Grow usually you sleep. IGF-1 Grow levels, that's sleep. right. Yeah. That, that's right. So that's usually the way that a lot of patients take it. You know, people react to it different. So some people can't take it during the day. Some people have to take it at night. You can be like Drew and be able to take it right before your workout and then go slam some food afterwards. It really is depending on you. You know, so... You know, you can test in tune with it, but, you know, usually we've got some different ways that you guys can definitely relieve it one way or the other. All right. What else do we got? Hi, you guys. Thank you guys for joining in. If you guys are just joining in right now, we're extending the benefit discounts for you guys. So Black Wednesday specials will apply today for you guys. 10% off all orders. You have to mention it from here, though. Because I didn't post it anywhere. So at that point, if you do mention it, they're going to know exactly what you're talking about. Plus the blood special. So you guys, males and females, new patients, old patients can take advantage of that as well. All right. Just got an HRT protocol from you guys. Pretty excited to get on. Why? Nice. Yes. Excellent. I can't wait. So let us know how it's going, please. What did you get? You say HRT protocol. What did you get with that? So testosterone, aromatized inhibitor, HCG, syringes. That's, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably nice. probably the package. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, general H HRT, which is the perfect starter kit. Yeah, that's like the Titan starter kit right there. Uh, used to be a product called Black Hole, which was a fullness suppressor. Fullness suppressor. I've never heard of it. I'll have to look this up. I've never heard of it, a fullness suppressor before. I'll have to look that up. I'll listen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't speak or comment on something I don't know about. So let me at least look it up and, and give you that answer. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it next Friday with Titan, yeah. Titan Lifestyle Big Drew. I'll make I'm sure. I'm interested to know what that is. I've fullness suppressor. Fullness I've never suppressor. heard of it. Heard of it. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right. So the first topic of the day, YouTube scams, YouTube scams, delivery microwave meals. Kind of crazy, but um, a guy basically registered his apartment as a rest. He's a YouTuber to begin right. with. So he makes a lot of YouTube videos in London. Um, he registered his apartment as a restaurant. Uh-huh. And then did some type of online uh, food delivery service. Okay. And then next thing you know, orders started coming in. He would film it as an order would come and say if someone wants like an Italian lasagna or whatever. Yeah. He would literally make it in, at his house, mic it through the microwave, and then deliver it to them. And he would get money for it. Dang. I mean, like literally paying for it. He was doing it. Sometimes he would leave the people money because they're filming it as like a prank thing for the YouTube channel. But he was getting away with it. Right. Where he was literally, I mean, I don't even know how you could do that. <laughs> Probably got through like regulations or whatever, but I guess like they actually did some type of inspection. Yeah. And he did something where it passed, or I don't know, he wrote it off or something. Where No way. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, they, they call me Italian Stallion. I was uh. making pizza and, and lasagnas and all these different stuff. This is funny. Yeah. This is funny. So I've heard of this. Um, so you re recommend, yep. So he had the full package. Recorded by Nick Trigilli. Nick's a great guy. Titan Nick advocate. Stuff. Yeah, man. Nick's a good dude. I watch man. a lot of Nick's videos. For sure. Um, yeah, so this is funny. So what I've seen here now is it's during the during the pandemic, some of these people have adapted going to the restaurants. Now they have these things called ghost kitchens. Mm. And what these things are basically is they don't have um, a brick and mortar location. Mm. But like you were saying, like they make the food and then they deliver it. Yeah. So, so I've seen some of these have Uber. Yeah, yeah. Like there's this place called The Hatchery I've been ordering from, but they do not have a brick and mortar. It's called ghost kitchen it's like really crazy i'm like and it's coming out of some guy's microwave it was my, <laughs> <laughs> probably i'm like oh man this is really fresh lemonade yeah. oh geez oh god now now i'm wondering now where it's yeah. at it's crazy yeah. right yeah. 
So I, I kind of want to see where my stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I want to yeah, see where it's I coming from. Where I want to make it. You know, yeah, that's yeah. that's one thing. I guess you know when you start making your food or start prepping your food and stuff like that, you really kind of know where it's coming from because you're making it. Exactly. And yeah. it's it's a great peace of mind. It's weird. The older I get, the more paranoid I get about like restaurants. You gotta I be. My food. I'm like, I don't know. It's you yeah, gotta be. It's weird. You gotta be. I used to not care if it's coming from a restaurant. I'll eat it, whatever. But now it's like. Eh. No. Yeah, you know, I, I, honestly, I think people take took more pride in their job, even if they didn't like their job back in the day. Yeah. They took pride, you yeah, know, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah. Now it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, and I notice places, even certain places like Dunkin' Donuts or even like yeah. chains like that, it doesn't taste like it used to taste. No, it doesn't. Like a Dunkin' Donuts donuts does not taste. After the show, I had a Dunkin' Donuts donuts, yeah. and I was like, what was this? It was like soggy, small. It yeah. didn't have that crisp glaze to it right. they used to have. It was almost like something you would buy at a gas station, yeah. like a Debbie snack yeah. donut or something. <laughs> and it was from Dunkin' Donuts. I was like, I don't know. Isn't that a letdown? Let down? me down, Dunkin' Donuts. That's yeah. a letdown. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. a letdown. Let We're on the same yeah. mind right here. Yeah. I mean, it's a letdown to like, you know, before like, when you, I don't, see, I don't, I, I thought it was me. I thought it was, listen, it was just eating clean for so long. No, the eating food's garbage, not the same. You know, your box, yeah. Your body's just like rejecting it like it's toxic. Not the same. You know? Yeah. Well, it's just not the same. So I agree with you on that for sure. I bet a lot of people do, you know, things didn't taste like when they used to, for sure. All right, so the next one was a man in Trump gear gets assault charge for breathing on a woman outside a Trump golf club. Um, so this happened in Virginia, and basically this guy was out there, and, and you know he had two different types of groups out there. He probably had Trump supporters out there, and he had people that were anti-Trump supporters. So this guy had a Trump shirt on, and this guy was like, you know, blowing in these women's direction. That I guess they were arguing about Trump or something like that, and they got it on video. Um, the cops came out because they did, these girls or women tried to call the cops on this guy. And the cops basically said that you have to go down to the county and you guys can get a, a like a citizen's a warrant basically to arrest. Mm -hmm. And both of them, I guess, were able to do this, but only the women went down and they did get one on the guy and the guy got arrested for a simple assault charge. Um, I mean, he's asking for it, though. I don't think it should be it. called breathing. I think it should be, say, blowing. Yeah. Because you could see that he's not just casually next to something. He's like... Mm -hmm. You know, he was bleep. exhaling. It looks like he's blowing out birthday cake. Exactly. And yeah. it, that's bl that's blowing. So, I mean, if he's... When I first heard about it, I was like, breathing? That's kind of crazy. But yeah. now seeing the picture and stuff, yeah. like, he's asking for it. Yeah, I got, you know, yeah. he's definitely asking for it, I guess, to a degree. But it's just yeah. getting crazy how you can get arrested for these different things yeah. out there. You know, you never, <laughs> normally wouldn't, so... And this other stuff that you would you would get arrested for now is, you know, you goes both ways. You know? Yeah. So, it's just... It's crazy how it is. It's, it's just nuts. Um, all right, so Tyson shows off a 100-pound weight loss during an interview. So Mike Tyson, he was having a fight tomorrow. So tomorrow yeah, is the fight night, for Mike night. Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Everybody's been waiting for this, been hyped. It got moved back. It was supposed to already happen. So, uh, you know. Titan's probably sweaty right now with his shirt off ready. To go. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Tyson's you know, 54 years old, okay? So this guy's getting back in the ring. 100-pound weight loss, which is amazing. This guy said he started basically, you know, he became a vegan. He started running on his treadmill for 15 minutes and got up to two hours. Uh, but it's been, some, you know, one of the biggest things, you know, as a challenge, I guess, that he said yeah. he's ever put himself through. But just amazing, you know, just goes to show you, you know, if your mind is in the right place, anything is possible. Yeah. Um, you know, it just it just depends how much work you're going to put and one in. Thing, one thing with Tyson, too, is... Um, He's so, his mind is so in tune, like, he, it's almost like you can't teach him, like, when you see how he fights, he, it's so natural for him, yep. that, like, the skills and all that hasn't gone anywhere, like, the reaction, like, the, the way he, his inside game hasn't gone anywhere, so, if he can get his conditioning, the only thing I would yep. see Titan, Tyson at this point, look, mm -hmm. I said Titan, mm -hmm. Tyson, Titan, Titan you know, that's same, right, Tyson, Titan, it's just too coincidental, that's right, but, um, the only thing I would have a problem with him now is if he wasn't in condition because yeah. he's so well. It's it's never he could be eighty and he's still gonna have those he does, instincts. He does look smaller though. Yeah, I I, I do agree. He does he does look skinnier he for might, sure, hundred percent. Might need a steak of potatoes he, right before he, the. He end. might yeah. He definitely might need some of that. You know, it's because he went vegan. Yeah. No, I'm not I'm not hating on you vegans out there. I know there's a lot he, of vegans out there, so I don't hate on you guys. Yeah. You know, do not hang out, hate on me as a as a cannibal or not a cannibal. <laughs> cannibal. <laughs> you guys are a cannibal. Uh, no, I'm not a cannibal, but omnivore. Yeah, omnivore. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm a carnivore. Okay, I am an omnivore because I will eat greens too. I guess. So at that point, I think I'm a carnivore because I hate greens. Uh, I, hate I like I like too. I like green beans. 
Yeah. Some lettuce, green, I, like. I guess. Just too Some celery. You know, I guess that's green. You the know? only thing really greens I could do is, I mean, I don't mind cucumbers. Yeah. Like cucumbers cut up are good. in my food. Cucumbers are good. I like sprouts, like alfalfa sprouts on yeah. sandwiches. For yeah. some reason, I like that. I like that, I like that These garden These are good flavor. things for you guys. That garden flavor in the sandwich. Yeah. You know, that's that's the biggest thing, you know, with, with a lot of people. And I'm sure, you know, Mike Tyson realizes now that nutrition is so key. Yeah. You know, and who knows if he used any performance enhancers or anything he'd use to get down on this weight. You know, I'm sure at his age, I mean, his testosterone's probably declined, and, and there's a number of different things, especially when you get hit in the head so many times, mm-hmm. causing head injuries. We, we know that, you know, different head injuries can cause problems with the pituitary and stimulating hormones too as well, so that could cause deficiencies mm-hmm. um, as well. But nutrition is a, is a main thing here. Um, you know, somebody came up to me Friday night, and they came up to me at this, this event, and they said, hey, John, you know, and this is a doctor. Comes up to me, he goes, he goes, John, what, what do I need to do to lose weight and start really, you know, look, looking kind of like you, right? And I'm like, listen, man, I go, what's your nutrition? Like, no, 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 nutrition is not the thing. Nutrition is not the thing. He's like, I only eat like 1,500 calories a day. I'm like, but, That's you know, the problem. but I, I see you over there. I see you like you're, you're drinking right now. So, I mean, yeah. at that point, you're hitting those calories too. So are you counting those calories in? And, you know, he's yeah. like, no, it's just a hormonal. So it's like, what can you do? What, 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 would, you, what would you say? What, what, what? I'm like, listen, until you see blood work on somebody, you know, you really can't say, hey, listen, this might be happening, this might not. Mm. So, or even a food allergy test. Too. A food allergy Figure test. Out, like what's clicking in their body. For you know, sure. Looks good on paper, For sure. but sometimes it doesn't, you know. I just had the same conversation with my buddy Josh. Yep. He goes to the gym from year to year, but he looks the same. Yep. Yeah. It's like, bro, and he's drinking. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just one thing or the other. Not, Maintaining. Listen, Listen, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, if you're putting the work in, you're already to a certain level, like, you can do these certain things. That's why you might see a, a YouTuber, Instagram, or whatever it is, like, they might be this really jack person, and they might be, oh, I eat his pizza. I mean, like, Drew, I mean, if you put in the work like, that long and that much, and you're eating, like, 9 out of 10 meals or 9.5 out of 10 meals, yeah. so clean and so good yeah. at that point in time, you know, the .5 or that one meal that you have or whatever the cheat is, it's not going to affect you to that because you're, you're literally burning it off. Your metabolism's burning. I mean, yeah. we're talking about the next day. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, after right the show. now I'm doing about 8, I mean, about 8 out of 10 meals are clean. Yeah. And that's just because post-show. Right. Right after the show, I ate, like, crap literally for one day, got it out of my system, and then yeah. now I'm at home, I'm eating rice, ground turkey, with mustard and complete seasoning, the same stuff I ate in the hotel room yeah. before the show. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, but I, every once in a while I have a little bit of cheese or a little bit of this or that. Sweets is my, you know, downfall. Yeah, me too. I can eat brownies every night. I don't, but I could. You know? Me too. <laughs> so it's kind of like, but, but I try to time those around when I know those calories are going to be burned. Yeah. I won't eat a plate of brownies and go to bed like I used to. Right. Now, like, okay, post-workout, I have a meal, I may have a one brownie or whatever, like, not even like all the time, like maybe once or twice a week, yep. just to get those added calories and yep. carbs right before I work out. Timing is everything with food. Time is everything. Yeah. Food, food is definitely a timing thing for sure. So, uh, have you ever tried Gino Palette, a diet based on your DNA? So, I've never done anything like that at all. Um, I, have you? I, never, never. never yeah, so, I've never done anything like that at all. I know there's a blood type diet and stuff like that. I know there's DNA based diets and stuff. Um, not to say they don't work or anything like that, but I, you know, I think it really does come down to your general macros, man. I mean, yeah. carbohydrates, your fats, your protein, having the right amounts, you know, and, and mm-hmm. fluctuating with your body. Now, what you eat, and what you're not, like he's talking about the food sensitivity test, where at that point, you know, you yeah. might know one, one thing you're more sensitive to, your body's going to react to, bloat, look yeah. bad, or, or affect your body in a negative way, where you know you can figure that out and kind of customize your meal plan. Or what you're eating to that, yeah, or even digestion too. Like you may not have it's the a good food allergy too. to digest. I know for me, when I get really, really lean for a show, I have a, like digestive problems where it's just mm-hmm. like, okay, is it because I'm doing too much red meat? The red mm-hmm. meat's not; it's keeping me full. My body can metabolism can handle it, right. but because my digestive system can't, so it's kind of like you need to figure out what digests well too. Oatmeal may look great, and it may be high in fiber, and that's what you may see on paper. Like yeah. more fiber you need if you're having digestive problems. Right. Certain people have. Oatmeal too. dries them up yeah, and it makes them more bloated. You up, for sure. You, know, you got to figure out rice, potatoes, oatmeal. You got to figure everything out what works for you. So, it's true. It's you know, true. The trial and error is with me. In the past 15 years, I've tried everything in my body, whether it's supplementation, whether it's food, everything.
everything. Yeah. I've read everything there is to read. I've, you yeah. know, I'm, all the clients I've had tried this, tried that. But if I see something that with my body, I, it's like I like to do it myself first yeah. before I tell someone else to do it. Even if it's keto or something I wouldn't want to do, right. I've done that just to see like what's going to happen or how I'm going to feel for a few days. Absolutely. Just to know, because otherwise you're just pencil pushing. Absolutely. Trying to figure stuff out. You know? No, I, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's a lot of R and D, man, research and development on yourself, yeah. pretty much. And once you know what these different things are, you'll yeah. be good to go. Food is definitely power. But so you have to trial and error. You know, be careful about it too. You can't just, oh yeah, I want to try this and take massive doses of stuff or this and that or starve yourself. When I say trial and error, I don't mean everything. Yeah. You know, within reason. So. What up, Coach Lopez? How you doing out there? I told Cassie get you some Titan gear, man. You get hooked up. Just got his address. Right? Awesome. Uh, Dave just got my IGF one R three on the way. Oh yeah. Do I take it after workout? So you can take that before workouts. Um, you can take it in the morning. It really depends on what you're trying to do for weight loss. You're trying to do like isolation or like muscle building pretty much. So at that point, um, you can use it bilaterally in the muscles you're going to train that day. Or you can do a subcutaneous in the morning. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Also, do you recommend donating every other month? So no. So donating really comes with what's going on in your body right and that's where blood testing really comes into play where you can see like a, a complete blood cell count a cbc is going to show you white blood cell count red blood cell count which you're thinking of hemoglobin hematocrit so those are the things you really want to do because if you over donate that's not good mm. if you're if you have low iron and everything like that you're anemic, you're anemic at that point so not a good thing right to to over donate so every three months maybe every six months you know, maybe donate, you know, twice a year, mm -hmm. but some people me might need it more. It just depends, androgens, anabolics you're taking, um, sleep apnea, like all these different things that can increase these things that, that you might have now to you donate. you have to be careful too with people who will try to donate too much. That's what, that's what I'm saying, over donating. Yeah, they self-diagnose and yeah. try to do too many, again, my blood dump and they just try to, uh, Yeah. that's not, not good. Yeah, so that's what I'm Pass saying. Pass out and no one around it. You know, no. Best time techniques to take Imperol and CJC, caveats. All right, so with this, usually uh, patients, we tell them to take it um, either in the morning on an empty stomach, like 15 to 30 minutes before they eat, or at night. It's probably the easiest time for patients to take that because usually patients, uh, you know, they're not highly regimented or they have a lot going on during the day. They can't think about taking it multiple times during the day and stuff like that, and that's kind of what it is. So those are usually the best times and they work overall the best. Um, now, if you want to take it more times during the day at lower doses, that's good too because you're, you're extending that pulse hitting every time throughout you know three every three to four to six hours. Um, that'll increase the pulse to the pituitary and that might get you better results. And that's usually what a lot of people do that are very, very serious about it. So you can do that as well. Um, it's just up to you and you know, do you have a cooler you're taking along with you or that regimen where you can do it on these time periods totally up to you as a patient but usually the best thing overall in the morning 15 or 30 minutes before you're going to eat or before bedtime yeah definitely make sure your cooler pack stays cold you yeah. know you don't want to waste your money you know yeah, absolutely in a hot car. absolutely uh, you know, <laughs> definitely want to keep that cooler pack on I mean, you can get them everywhere too like the yeah. small ones they even have individual ones made for medication where it's yeah. like a small zipper pouch and it has cooling packs you can keep in your freezer yeah. so what up, Antonio? Big shout out, Titan family Ooh. out there. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. All right, so uh, next one: New York State auctioning a drug bust. They're auctioning off Jordans and all kinds of shoes. LeBron's too. We were looking at earlier, right? Yeah, it's some good, good shoes. Um, yeah. I think eBay, I believe. eBay, is them off. eBay. So and they have um, like two hundred pairs. Yeah. Of jerseys. And yeah. Jewelry. They found obviously a bunch of drugs too, but they're auctioning off all this stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. They got a kilo of cocaine, like 70 grams of crack, 60 grand in stuff, cash. Yeah. You know, all these shoes, memorabilia. They had signed Jordan jerseys, upper they had deck some nice ones. Shoes on there. I think they had some fours, some fives. Some oh, really yeah. Nice LeBrons on there. Absolutely. Right Absolutely, Custom yeah. Ones. These guys had all kinds of stuff oxycodone pills, Xanax pills, like all different stuff. So these guys got popped. The It was the, the boyfriend and the girlfriend that got hit. Mm. You know, so at that point, it's kind of crazy. So New York State, I guess, has an eBay account. And they yeah. do these auctions on eBay, and then I guess they already got hits. Like some of these direct link too from the site. It direct link from yeah. the site. So you guys, it's in the New York Post. Um, you guys can go and you guys can bid on all this stuff if you guys want to get it. Usually auctions, you want to get stuff cheaper. 
I don't know if this stuff was worn or not worn. That's another yeah. thing. Like some I wouldn't buy some it. of the autograph stuff looked good. I wouldn't. Oh buy yeah, for more. sure, for sure. Some of the autograph stuff looks good. Those other like Jordan right. jerseys, mm -hmm. they're they're going up every year. Great investments, you know, on some of those for sure. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So what else we got? All right, coming to America two. So if you guys have not seen. Coming to America, one, you guys are in for a treat. If you Go rent seen that, it. I don't know. You must be like 15 years old or something because. They got, the youngest probably haven't yeah, seen it. Yeah, they haven't seen it. They haven't but seen that's it. the movie right They there. haven't. Coming that to is, America, yeah. that was a classic. That's Soul Glow. That's the bird. That that's is, everything. I mean, dude, <laughs> Arsenio Hall, right? Um, Eddie Murphy, multiple parts that's in the movie. The movie. Like this, this was yeah. you know this is this is yeah, way this before Now Your Professor. This yeah. is like this is way before you all see that how stuff. Eddie Murphy is in there. The, well, even Arsenio Hall, dude, he was funny yeah, too. Multiple Hall, parts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were good. They the were barbershop preachers, was funny, barber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was you know, I mean, Eddie Murphy's the white guy, the white Jewish guy. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Everybody. So you everybody. know that that was the one thing like. Eddie Murphy, you know, back in the day, like Saturday Night Live, like he did like like where he like went and totally white parts. Like yeah, you know, yeah the hair, it, it was it was well, hilarious. Martin used to do that too when he played Bob on the character Martin. Was Martin was good that. too. So I mean, yeah. this, these are classics right now. So coming to America too, never thought. I mean, this is this is so long after the original one. I hope it's good. I hope they don't ruin it. Eddie Murphy directed this movie, so oh, yeah, I yeah. think it's gonna be funny. I think Eddie Murphy, you know, he definitely has that. He has that spirit of comedy still. So. All the people are coming back. Arsenio Hall is coming back. Like all the original cast. All, all the original cast good. is coming That's back. Good. That's gonna be. Good. So it's either gonna be really, really good, or like, why did you do that? They should have yeah, left them alone. Yeah, I think it's gonna go either one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So even James Earl Jones. So like, all these people are coming back. Yeah, he was the he was the the king. He was yep. the, yeah. King George George Joffier. Joffier. Yeah. Anderson, the guy, the fat guy at McDonald's, the yeah, yeah, McDowell's, McDowell's. So yeah, so th this one's gonna be good. Uh, it was supposed to originally come out in the movie theaters in December, um, but obviously because of COVID and all that, they're not releasing the movie theaters. So it's gonna go straight to Amazon Prime on March fifth. So March fifth, you can see it on Amazon Prime. It looks good too, man. It looks good. Got yeah. everybody in it. He's aged well. Is that you know? I mean, uh, I mean, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he looks good. I think I think it's gonna be yeah, really really good. That, I don't age skin. He's got like he does. He's like a cocoa butter sponsor or something like yeah. that because his skin is like <laughs> the, that perfect like. Oh, yeah. It does. The it same looks as good. it was in Raw when yeah. he did stand up like for, whenever that was. For real. Or, like 1985, yeah, 86, man. It was ACR crazy. Take days. How long do you have to take CJC? So you don't have to take it forever. I mean, but you know, I mean, you can stay on the therapy for as long as you want if that's a good answer for you. It really just depends on you, you know, and if you're getting a good response from it, if it's working well, you know, that's something that's going to keep those levels up and, and going. Um, so, you know, if you want to see a response, you know, within three months, you can do that. If you want to stay on it and keep seeing more results, you can do that too as well. Just now, really would you recommend them upping the dose? Keep the dose the same, though, because a lot of times people yeah. want to stay on something and they stay on it and they slowly, slowly, slowly. Next thing you know, they don't realize a year later they're taking twice as much as oh, they no. in the beginning. So you don't need to do that. Yeah, with I this. would just, you know, that's why I've, I've had that. Yeah. I've, I've even done that, too, um, back in my days of taking garbage pre-workouts and yep. powders and stuff like yep. that. Where I start off a little by little, the next thing you know, I have one level scoop, then around it, and this and that, and it's like you got to be careful. Yes. You know. Yeah. So, um, so another reason why I like the ECA guys because yeah. a lot of times when you guys are taking pre workouts, your scoops are rounded. Sometimes, sometimes it's flat. If your scoop is rounded, you're getting one and a half servings. Yep. So if it's supposed to be 300 milligrams, now you talk about 450 milligrams because you have that thing on the top. So right. you can never act unless you're literally scooping off every time. You don't really know. Right. Or weighing so it out over <laughs> too much. Sometimes, oh, I'm, I don't know why I'm so I'm not feeling it today because the scoop was flat. I'm feeling it more today because the scoop is round. That's but the right. ECA, everything is the same exact That's dose right. every single time. You just pop it. And That's you don't right. Have to worry about it. exact dosages. That's exactly. key. It's like That's just key. imagine having like all that scoop in a in a capsule. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It, that's not exactly what it is, but if you're using it for that purpose, it's the cap, boom, done, ready to go. Ready to go, man. Yeah. Stimulant, fat burning. Oh yeah. Focus all in one. So you guys are gonna love that too as well. All right. So all right. So the NBA is coming here to Tampa. Yes, right literally right down the street. 
If, right we, were, down the street. if we were standing on the roof of this building, we could see where they're going to be playing. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so, I mean, it's that close downtown. I mean, Amelia Arena, great. right downtown where the lightning play. It's literally like two or three blocks from Tight Medical Center. It's a scooter um, ride. It's it, about a two it's minute a scooter, scooter, ride. scooter ride from it's Titan. It's a scooter yeah. ride. <laughs> so, they're going to be coming. The Toronto Raptors are going to come. And the reason is, is because Canada is not letting anybody in or out. Unless it's for business purposes, yeah. so they, um, have to, they have to isolate, they have to quarantine for fourteen, 14 days. days. So I think it's a good thing. I mean, they're getting their games in. Absolutely, they can enjoy the beautiful weather, and they can play games close to me. Yeah, yeah, and we can go see these games yeah. now. We don't have to travel to Miami, yeah. Orlando. No, it's the first time. The first time I've seen. NBA play in Tampa, and I've been here for what 12, 13. Yeah, I mean, listen, I've been here for 19. It, nobody's yeah, ever played I've been here, here for so I mean, at that point, 14 like, years now. Wow, I know it's time flies, right? Yeah, <laughs> it goes by quick. Yeah, you know, uh, so excited about this. You know, we're excited to have them here. I think, you know, I was, I was telling my dad about this because like, I was telling him a couple weeks ago they were in talks, like, no way, no way. I'm like, mm. they're gonna come watch. So at this point, when Tampa gets us, because Tampa's up and coming. Like, this might open it up. Like, you know what? We might need a team here. Yeah. You know, I mean, Orlando's got one. Miami's got one. Why and can't Tampa, Tampa have one? Tampa is booming right now. Everything's coming to Tampa. The yep. Super Bowl's in Tampa. Everything's building up right yep. now. All the bodybuilding shows are coming to Tampa yep. and Orlando. So, I mean, yeah, it'd be yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah. Bring it here. Oh, yeah. We keep Orlando, too. If they want to keep Orlando, that's fine. We'll have, like, a little in-state rivalry <laughs> down the street. The Warren I-4 between, you know, that's Tampa right. team and Orlando Magic. That's that'd be right. Perfect. It would be good. It would yeah. definitely be good. Yeah. Um, all right, so Olympia is coming. It's coming Another to Orlando. Thing. Another thing, right down the street in Orlando, more stuff coming to Dude, Florida. I mean, what, what do we got? We got, yeah. I think, like 18 days or something like that, yeah. maybe a little bit more, 20 days to Olympia. And uh, we will be there in full force from Vegas to Orlando now, yeah. which is right down the street from us. So obviously, you know, we had, you know, we had Rachel Daniels. It, you know, she's going to be competing, a tight medical center athlete. She's kicking butt and going into this, you know, on a winning streak, a big winning streak. So hopefully she'll be able yeah. to fall through. And that'll be huge. So at that point, like, now we can be a part of this. Shaq's going to be there. I mean, Sha- dude, everybody's going to be there from Olympia. So instead of being in Vegas, yeah. it's going to be right here in Orlando. And what's great about Shaq being there is he used to play for the Orlando Magic, and he had a huge, huge house in this in that area. Oh, that's true. So it's like he already is, like, in his backyard. He knows his, so yeah. it's going to be it's going to be. Crazy. Nosy area. So I can't wait. There's going to be a lot more people there. So we were trying to get a booth and stuff like that. We've been trying to reach out. Nobody's getting back. Obviously, tickets, you can't even buy tickets right now if you go on the Mr. Olympia site. Um, so hopefully, they'll be opening that soon. Yeah, if you see. guys are going, you might as well book or do whatever you have to do soon because yeah. I guarantee you oh, it's yeah. going to sell out just like it did last week at bodybuilding shows and it's, all the other ones. Yeah. This is the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. This is so the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. So stuff everybody will comes. sell out and stuff. So. Rock's going to be there. Big shout out to Phil Heath. The Rock, Phil Heath, Shaq, everybody. It's gonna, yeah. yeah, it's going to be on. It's going to be on and popping. So, it's going to be crazy. Um, it, it's going to be definitely be good. So, I think we, I'm going to stay on my diet all the way until then just to make sure I'm Might right. as well. Yeah, Drew's like, listen, man. He's like, we got to come to this thing looking right. And I was like, might all right. Might as well stay right. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely going to do well. that. So, definitely eating yeah. good. Uh, training, ready to go for this thing. But it's going to be it's gonna be one heck of an event. I can't really, I really can't wait. Mm-hmm. We've already got like 12 rooms, already got like all of them, same floor, I've already organized all that. So nice. Titan's going to be there in full effect. Gonna We're going to bring a ton of Titan gear. If we don't have a booth, we don't care. We're still bringing a ton of Titan gear and a ton of Titans with us. And we're going to represent. We'll just come there and just just mob it out, I guess. It's going to be ECA and Hercules type weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I Early really morning wait. pump with the Hercules. After that, ECA carries me all the way through the day. I'm going to be all ready the way. to go. So the 17th through the 20th, December, we'll be in Orlando. We'll be staying at the Hyatt Regency down there. We love staying there. We've been That's staying like, there a lot. Yeah, man. I was there last week. It's I love that place. <laughs> I love that. That's like my favorite hotel, the gym, everything. It's yep, great. Yep. It's like it actually has a full gym, it a is. full locker it's nice. room. It's the real best, nice. That hotel has the best steam room of any steam room I've ever used, yep. whether it's a high-end gym or anything. That I love, love that place. So we can't wait. We're going to be really excited about that. After that, back to St. Pete for, you know, at the Vinoy, the Festival cars. of Speed. Yeah. Exotic cars. cars. You saw saw John, guys. We were at this, what, a couple weeks ago yeah. at the Cars and Couture. Car he was yeah. sitting in this car. I thought he was going to drive away with me. <laughs> 
That thing looks so nice. Yeah, it did, man. No, no, he was sat and he's like, whoa, whoa. Uh, he's like a, a goosebumps just filled his whole thing. Oh, uh, like, for whoa. sure. <laughs> I was like, he's about sure. to leave. I've I never, you know, <laughs> you know, you know I, 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 I got I got blamed for one time. Like, having, having Ferraris and, and Bentleys. I don't have a Ferrari or Bentley. Yeah, right. But sitting yeah. in a Lambo, man, I'm like, man, this, 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 nice. I could get used to this for sure. A lot of nice cars out there. That, Beautiful that, that, rides. Uh, that video that will be on uh, Sunday, too. It'll be on the TV show. Yeah, too, it'll be that. good. So Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Type Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. Check it out. Um, but, yeah, so that's going to be it's gonna be a really good event. And then after that, back to another festival speed in Orlando on the 24th at the Ritz-Carlton on their property. Huge spread out event. So don't worry about social distancing and everything like that. It's going to be fine uh, outdoors. So there's nothing you know going to be problems as far as inside. So it's going to be a good time all the way around. We're going to be out there representing, going to take some really good pictures with the cars, being the media sponsor, going around talking, um, spread the good word of Titan, and uh, hopefully having a great day out there. So come and join us on both of those days if you guys can't, or one of them. Hey, pick one. You guys will love it, I promise. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it, man. That's pretty much it. We touched on everything. Great events, great topics again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you guys want a shirt, you might as well do a, 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 a Titan gear Why giveaway. Not? What kind of shirts we got? Uh, Titan Strong shirts. So you can get a Titan yeah, Strong no shirt. No other alternatives. Those are the ones that say no other alternatives yep. in the back. Yep. I was, whenever I wear that shirt, people are always like, where did you get that shirt? Because they're so used to seeing yeah. the other Titan shirts. Yeah. Those ones are. Those it's ones a little are different. Good. They right? fit good too. They're V-necks. They yep. fit good. They're not just like a boxy T-shirt. Oh, I know. Like they fit. I hate right. those. Yeah, I hate, hate those, those shirts. Yeah. Um, or you can get leggings if you're a girl. If you want to get your girl some leggings, I'll let you do that too as well. All you guys got to do is text the line seven two seven three eight nine three two two zero. Text hashtag Titan Gear and we'll hook you guys up. You better jump on those leggings. Christmas is around the corner. This is a free gift, guys. Yeah. So <laughs> here's the ladies. Titan Strong shirt. If you yeah. guys haven't seen it, there it is. It's got our Titan Athletic logo on the side, and then the no alternative like Drew was talking about on the back. Because there is no alternative to Titan Medical Center and Titan Loyalty on the bottom. Yeah, and also on the side too, you had the TA on the side. Oh yeah. On that That's side, the awesome. sleeve. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Oh, right on the sleeve. Sorry, she was right. Titan Custom. Apple. Yep. Custom. So these are really, really nice. Yeah. So get you guys one. Hashtag Titan Gear. Text the number seven two seven three eight nine three two two zero. Don't forget about all the black. Wednesday specials extended to you guys because you guys tuned in. I want to give you guys something special. So there's so it's kind of like a Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. Black, Black Friday. Wednesday on Friday. It's a Black Friday. It's I'll do a Cyber Friday. Monday something. Yeah. I'll do something for Cyber Monday. I know that's the next one's for Monday. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'll have some more information for you guys out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Tune in to us every Friday. Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. Uh, 2 p.m. We appreciate you guys and Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show on Sundays everywhere in Florida or on Titan Medical Center Facebook or YouTube page. Also Instagram, keep it locked in. And also on the YouTube page, click the bell. Also subscribe so you can be notified of these Ooh. videos. And also check out the podcast if you want to listen to us when you're driving, when you're cleaning, when you're just chilling, you're laying in bed. Listen to us. You can listen to these topics over again. You can cross-reference stuff to you know you guys figure out yep. what we're talking about. If you didn't catch it right now, you can catch it back anytime. I'll be back next week, Titan Lifestyle, with me, Big Drew, and John. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Practice social distancing. Yep. Wear your mask if you yep. have to. Yep. And respect other people's wishes. That's right, man. That's right. It's all about respect. So we appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Have a healthy and safe weekend, like Drew said. That's right. I'm out. Bye-bye. This is Titan Lifestyle.